Welcome to Get Your NEC Scott. This video is aimed at anyone applying for disabled concessionary travel. We'll now show you how you can use Get Your NEC for the application process. On the home page, click on Apply Now underneath Disabled Concessionary Travel. Once you've read the short introduction, click on Get Started. Please note that if the applicant is aged 5 to 21 or over 60, unless they are eligible for the plus one companion disabled concessionary travel, they would be better off applying for the young person's free bus travel or 60 plus option. Disabled concessionary travel cards are only valid for up to three years, at which point you will need to reapply if you're still eligible. You'll now be asked a few simple questions. I'll confirm that I'm applying for myself, that I live in Scotland, I'm aged between 26 and 59, and I do have a disability. Bear in mind, parents can apply on behalf of their child under 16 for disabled concessionary travel. Once they're 16, they will need to apply by themselves or alternatively via your local council. Now that I've confirmed I have a disability, I'll confirm whether I have a sight impairment. For this video, I'll select no. You're then asked if you need a companion with you. If you select yes for this, you'll be shown a list of proofs which makes you eligible for this option. You can then work out if you're eligible for a plus one companion pass. For this video, I will select no, I do not have the proof for companion. You'll now see a list of what you'll need for the application process. You will need a MyGovScot My account to sign in. If you don't have a My account, you can register at the same time. You also need to upload proof of your own identity and address. The easiest option is a Yachty account, which is an app you can use to prove your identity online. For more information about that, please go to yachty.com or look for the app in your mobile phone's app store. The next easiest proof is a driving license photo card, as it proves both your identity and your address. However, if you don't have one, you'll need a passport or a biometric residence permit. If you don't have any of these, don't worry, you can contact your local council and they can offer another application method. You will also need a suitable photo to be printed on the front of your card. It has to be as close to a passport style photo as possible. Photos of photos or photos of your passport photo will be rejected. You will also need a copy of the proof of disability, which is dated within the last 12 months, and it shows the expiry date, which should not be less than 30 days from the date of application. If you're applying on a smartphone, you can take a photo of the document as you go along. If you're using a laptop, you'll need to scan or have files of the document to upload. If your award letter has multiple pages, you will need to scan all the pages as a single PDF so we can see your name, award date and expiry date. Let's get started by clicking on Apply Now. On the next screen, sign in with your My Account. If you do not have one, you also have the option to register. You'll now be shown your details from your My Account. These details need to match your proof of identity and address documents. If the details are out of date, for example you've moved house, you'll need to update them on the My Account site before continuing with your application. If they're correct, click on Yes Continue. Next, please select which option you will use to prove your own identity. For this video, I'll select Driving Licence and then click on Verify Identification. You're now going to start a process to take photos of your license as well as a quick scan of your face. That is required to check that the photo in the document matches the face scan. When prompted, take a photo of the front and back of your driving license. Make sure the photo is clear and there are no shadows or glare in the image, otherwise you'll be asked to try again. If you don't have a driving license and you use a passport or biometric residence permit, you'll also need to upload proof of your address as well, for example a bank statement dated within the last three months. Now we need to verify that the driving license belongs to the same person who is applying, so you will now need to do a quick face scan. There's a really short video showing you what's involved. Click on Start Scan to get started and just follow the instructions. Frame your face in the oval and follow the instructions. 
You'll now be asked if you have an existing card. For this video, I'll select no, but if you do have a card and you know the card number, select yes and enter the card number when prompted. You'll now see the card options available to you. As I want a Disabled Concessionary Travel National Entitlement card, I'll just click on continue. You'll be asked if you have a sight impairment. For this video, I'll select no. You'll then see a drop down list appear. You need to select which disability proof you can provide. For this application, I'll use a blue badges proof. I'll then click on choose file to upload an image of the back of the blue badge, which shows your details and photo. Click on upload disability proof. And once it has uploaded successfully, click on continue. Next, upload a suitable photo to be printed on the front of your card. It needs to be as close as possible to a passport style photo. Don't take a photo of an existing photo or a photo of your passport photo page. Ask someone to take a photo of your head and shoulders while in front of a white wall. Click on choose file and once you've selected the photo you wish to use, you'll then be able to edit and crop the photo if required. Click in the box to confirm that the photo is suitable for the card and click on confirm and upload. Once successfully uploaded, click on continue. At the review stage, carefully check all the details are correct. If not, feel free to go back and edit all the details before you submit the application. If the details are correct, click on continue. Check the terms and conditions, tick the box and click on submit my application. The card application will be reviewed within 10 working days. You'll receive an email to confirm whether the application has been approved or rejected. If approved, the new card will be delivered to the address shown on screen. You also have the option to track your application. You'll be able to see if it's showing as submitted, approved or rejected. If it has been rejected, you will receive an email, but you can also read the rejection reason on the track application page. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you find it useful.